Hey everyone, welcome to another gardening video. Today I'm going to be showing you the third way um, that I've seen to plant potatoes. So the first way was uh, digging a trench, putting the potatoes in, mounding up uh, dirt on top of the potatoes. The second way that I showed in my last video was to fill up a grow bag, put them inside the grow bag, and top them with um, with the dirt as well. And this third way is one that I, I have seen, it's probably considered the no dig method, where you put cardboard down on top of the ground, put compost down, put the potatoes on top of the compost, cover them with a couple of inches of compost, and then um, as the foliage grows, you just continue to mount on top. So that is the, um, method that I'm going to be working on today and I've been trying to look around to determine what might be the best spot for that for this year uh, since it is a test for myself since I've never grown them that way. Last year I did pretty successful, I wouldn't say like tremendously successful uh, with growing potatoes for the first time but um, I want to try to do it in a more sunny location simply because the raised garden that I have um, only gets some sun it doesn't get like long hours of sunlight so i'm thinking that i might put it in an area that has a decent amount of sun throughout the day and see if that makes a big difference with the potatoes so let me go ahead and show you where i'm planning on putting everything at for those potatoes um, and then we'll go ahead and get started i was thinking about doing it right along the property line here so I think I might just get some cardboard and lay it out and see where I go. Okay, so I went ahead and I laid out some cardboard. It's just a strip along the property line. I think over here, like that section right there, we're going to put the rest of the potatoes that I have. And then from here all the way there, I'm going to be planting some onion sets, which will be a different video. And I have a I'm going to be doing from here to here with onion sets, and I'm also going to be um, putting them in grow bags too. So you guys will see that. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and get some compost. And I'm going to lay the compost on top, and then I'll show you what it looks like. Alright, so I went ahead and I um, put some compost on top of the cardboard. And now what I'm going to do, which I'll show you here in a second what it looks like, and what I'm going to be doing next is I'm going to be planting the potatoes um, into the top layer of the soil. So let me go ahead and show you what it looks like. All right, so that's what it looks like with the compost on top. So this is a, another method that you can plant potatoes with. This is the first time I'm planting this way. Um, so we will see how it does. Um, these are, if you remember from my last video, these are all the seed potatoes that I have left from last year. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead, I'm actually going to go towards the end because while it is later in the day, um, this side will, will still get more light than that side. And I can plant my onions over there. I really want to try to see if um, giving my potatoes more sunlight, if I'll get a better harvest. So I'm going to go ahead and plant these and I'll be right back. Okay, so they're planted and I went from here to right here. I don't know if you can see that line that I kind of made in the dirt right there. So I'd say that's about six feet, six by two and a half, maybe three, two and a half. I don't know. <laughs> um, so it's supposed to rain tomorrow. So I'm not going to worry about watering these. It's supposed to rain pretty good tomorrow. Um, and whenever they start to, and all I did is I just nestled them in the top layer. So let me see if I can find one that I just put in. Would have helped. Oh, there. So I just nestled it right in the top and then just covered it with soil. And what will happen is once it starts to um, get some foliage that comes up through the ground, then I will put a little bit more dirt on it. Or I might put some straw on it since I put straw on uh, the ones that are in my raised bed. So I haven't decided yet what I'm going to do right here. Um, but that's pretty much the third method. 
And like I said, this is the first time I'm doing it this way. So um, I'll be interested to see how it goes. Now, obviously I'm doing it on a much smaller scale than some people, but I don't have a lot of space. I actually have maybe just over a half acre of land and not even that is um, workable land because I own like, part of my property is like a steep hill towards the back. So I can't even, can't even utilize the full acre. My garden, that's in, like inside my fence, it's like 36 by 16 feet. And I pretty much utilize as much space of it as I can. And then I have five, six, seven, eight garden beds, nine, 10. We have 10 garden beds that uh, we use, but some of them are used for like lettuces and carrots and um, one of them I'm gonna put herbs in. I have strawberries in one and uh, so, you know, it's kind of, I'm limited on what I can do space-wise. So I'm trying to find the best, most efficient way possible um, to grow potatoes. So whatever way works really well for me this year, I may uh, end up doing more in the future because I did use a pretty big size garden bed last year and I didn't get a lot of potatoes. They were really small, but I think that it was mostly because of the location and not having enough sun. So I think for me, either the grow bags or this method to where I have it like on the ground piled up is probably gonna be my best option, but I wanted to do it all three ways so that I could look at the end of the day and see how much I got for each. So. Thank you again for watching my video. If you enjoyed the content today, be sure to hit like and subscribe and hit the alert button if you want to be notified of when I post another video. Until then, happy gardening. Freya, hey baby, there you are, hey.